Hi, I'm Corey, and I'm going to show you how to adjust your miter saw if it is not cutting correctly. Uh, I have a rigid MS1290LZ. Uh, yours may be similar, but most likely it will be just slightly different. Uh, consult your user's manual to see which uh, nuts and bolts you have to loosen to adjust your miter saw. Uh, a few basic tools. I have two squares. I have an adjustable square and I have this um, carpenter's square, speed square. Uh, you only need one. Uh, make sure your squares are true and make sure the surface of your squares are clean. Um, no caked on glue or uh, debris. Um, if so, just take some sandpaper and, and uh, lightly sand that off. Also, make sure your miter surface, your miter box surface is uh, also clean. And um, you also need a wrench um, that fits your saw or whichever um, nut or bolt you're loosening. So, with that, let's get started. First, we're going to check to see if the fence is square to the blade and to do this we're going to lower the blade lift the guard slightly come into the blade make sure the square is not contacting the teeth uh, that may throw you off and then push the square up against your your guard your, your uh, guide and just kind of sight down and see if you see any gaps at the front or the back of the blade you can slide it back and forth if you need to. Um, mine actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to show you how to adjust it anyway. If you do see a gap, if you see a gap at the front, it means your, your saw is, is too far this way, too far to the right. The leading edge is too far to the right. So you need to adjust your fence accordingly. Uh, and if it's at the back, it's the opposite way. On this saw, I need to uh, remove this fence extension and one on the other side. And this all I have three bolts. I have this one, I have one back here, and I have one on the other side is the mirror image of that one. Take my wrench. I loosen the bolt okay all three are loose I'm gonna take and do the same process that we use to check square and I'm gonna square this up and I'm gonna turn the fence until I don't see a gap between the blade and the square. And I want to ensure that the square is in flush contact with the fence. Once that happens, you've got it set to square. Take your wrench, tighten all three of your bolts up, recheck, make sure that it didn't slip and you're done now we're going to check to see if the bevel is correct on this saw and I can tell you that it's not and that's what prompted me to do this video you want to come down get your square this one's a little tall but um, I don't have a shorter one so it'll do I just come down far enough to where I can gauge um, to see if I have a gap and I have a noticeable gap here I'm not sure if you can see that on camera but my, my blade is is tilted this way uh, too much the way I adjust the bevel on my miter saw is I loosen this bolt and a bolt on the other side just like it and it allows me to turn the bevel freely 
Okay, that's loose. I repeat the process just before. And again, ensure that there's no debris that could throw your measurement off. And you don't want to be on a tooth. You want to contact the blade. Okay. I'm going to try not to move it. Tighten at least one of these bolts. Okay. Make sure it still looks good. It does. We will tighten the other bolt. Okay. Check it one more time. That's good. I'm going to check the guard one more time. And that's good. Now we're ready to miter some corners. Thanks for watching.